Hello everyone, Timothy Chow here, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to use a program that I always use, and that is a program called WinFF. Now, this program, WinFF, is a free program, it is also safe, your antivirus will not say anything to attack it or do whatever to it. Now this program, I use it to help me process my videos, whether it's editing or whatsoever. Um, so, um, installing it should be pretty easy. Now this program only works for Microsoft Windows computers, so installing it should be fairly easy, but however, finding the program is not as common as other software like Audacity, Google Chrome, Firefox, VLC Media Player, uh, Adobe, this is, this program is not as common as those other ones that I just listed. So, uh, I'm gonna teach you guys on how to find that before using the program. Okay, so I am now up on the internet. I'm gonna show you guys how to find it. So, pretty much you have to type in an FF, download. Now, all you have to do is to look for the right link. I believe it is video help. Hang on, it's loading. So, right here, it should take you to this website. Um, okay, so right here there are different download links, as you can see here. Hang on, let me just help you guys zoom in. So right here, uh, there are several download links, so there's uh, Windows, Linux, Portable Windows, etc. Now, no Mac, see? Um, download link for Windows, there's three. There's Windows 64, Windows Portable, and for Windows 32. Now, Portable Windows, I believe it's for Windows uh, Mobile, I think. But for Windows 64 and 32, there are uh, different uh, there are different files for uh, there are two different files and as you know for Windows users you have 64 bit or 32 bit and that you can check through your control panel in system settings and what you can do is to go to control panel go to uh, system and security and then click system and it should show right here uh, right here that uh, your computer is a 64-bit operating system so right now right here mine says 64-bit see so yep all i have to do is to hit the uh download 64-bit right on this link and it and follow the instructions and that should do okay so back to using the program now that i teach you guys on how to find the program all you have to do is to, um, before I uh, put on the video, so you see these multiple tabs down here. So those are in other, other, other options, or options right here, and you hit additional options. So if you uncheck it, they'll disappear. Check additional options, they'll show up, because those are very important. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to find a video conveniently placed right here. I'm just going to use this one. So what you're going to do is to drag the video in... Here, drag it. Don't hit, don't hit import because that's not gonna work. Just drag it in here. And before you hit the convert button or uh, convert button, you have to check that video and see what the property is about. So right here, my video is about 80 megabytes MP4. Hit details. It's uh, 30 seconds, HD 1080, and it says 29.97 megabytes. So what you're going to do with WinFF is follow the instructions. So it says 1080, I am on 1080, MPEG-4, I am on MPEG-4. Uh, 30 frames per second because it says 29.97, so I'm going to hit 30 instead. So after you have all that finished, 
Uh, the output folder is going to my document, so I'm just gonna uh, go there and convert. And I will see you guys when it is done. Okay, so when your video is finished converting, it should show this message. Uh, at the bottom it says press any key to continue on your keyboard, so here we go. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the previous cut is that uh, the video, the uh, conversion time really depends on how uh, really depends on a few things, like how long your video converts depends on one, the speed of your computer, two, the length of the video you're converting, three, the quality of the video you're converting, and four, the frame rate you're converting. So the higher the frame rate and the bigger the uh, quality and the longer the video, the longer it's going to take for, for your video to be processed. I believe this is it for my video, so feel free to leave a like below on what you guys think, and hope to see you guys in the next video.